This tutorial is about how to use the paintbrush in Tux Paint. So first step is you click on paint and then you have all of these colors that you may pick from including this one. If you click this button you get to choose what color you're going to paint with and then that color will remain down here until you change it again. Now you have probably 80 some odd brushes. This is a thin brush. This one's a little bit thicker. A little thicker still. Thicker still. And that's the thickest. And then you have some that have this halo effect. And even more of a halo effect. Smaller. Now some of them are, have shapes to them. So if you click and drag you get the shape repeatedly. If you use it once, you can use it like a stamp. So there's a variety of shapes to pick from, from little flower looking ones to hearts. Remember, if you click and drag, it completely changes the look of it. To a cat, and you can make your cat be any color that you want. And if you click and drag, you get a series of running cats. If you click once, you'll get one of each kind of cat. Which kind you get depends. Um, keep scrolling down by clicking on the pink button and then you get little effects like this that you can stamp one time. Kind of looks like stars. If you click and drag you get a lot of them. Keep clicking going down. Here's a spiral. You get one or if you click and drag kind of reminds me of hair. You could use that to draw hair on, on a face. Keep clicking down. You see you got square shapes. We even have a squirrel. And your squirrel can be any color. Doesn't have to be brown. It's your picture. All the way down to this lovely ivy. That looks really good if you stamp it once. Looks like that. If you just click and draw with it, it looks like that. Now you can use these effects in a lot of different ways you could use this ivy brush and you could color in an entire background just by using that. You could change the color of the ivy and you could overlap. Notice that you don't have to erase because you can just color over something. So if you change your mind, if you don't like that color or if you colored too far, all you have to do is change it And it's that easy and now you've got this really interesting looking background. You can combine them too with let's say the big paintbrush in blue and you could click and drag across the top part of your drawing to create a sky. And then you could switch colors to green to make your grass layer or I could have done the ivy for some texture. So now I have what looks like an outdoor scene. I could get the faded sort of brush and I could do some clouds. Like that. It doesn't have to be too neat. So just remember that you can do all sorts of different things with all of these different brushes and I haven't even begun to show you the other tools but I'll teach you those in, a, in the next part.